one of the biggest things is just sitting still until basically you're kind of in a controlled position. You have to be aware, you have to be present, and you have to, you know, do the best you can do. You have to learn from these things. I'm very comfortable that, that if anything goes wrong, they're here to take care of it. What's up, America? It's time for another episode of The Real Man Show. We are here at Survival Systems USA, Grind, Connecticut. We've got Dan the Instructor. We brought a Navy SEAL, Salvatore Battlegrounds USA. We brought this guy, Bob, who's interviewing for a job with Asylum Partner Marketing. And the name of the game today is Let's Not Drown. Let's roll that open. All right, so I thought the whole idea was that we're in the pool today, but we're not right now. So you want to tell everyone what's going on? What we're going to do next, gentlemen, is we're going to take a walk around the building, take a tour, and show you all the important things to make sure that everyone is safe when it comes to the training for today, but also for the general accommodations for, for the day, you know, where the restrooms are and all that. So. One simple question. How many people have drowned? Uh, this week or? All right, we're going to go uh, do that safety brief now. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go for it. <laughs> So my name is Andrew, I'll be one of the instructors today. Based on whoever our clients are, we can make it like an airplane, like a helicopter, and then that hoist operating system operates in like any hoist would, and basically this ring right here has a trolley on it. The pods on the bottom are heavy in the air and buoyant in the water, so gravity basically spins this thing around and we can simulate what a uh, dynamic rollover would be like. Coming to Survival Systems uh, USA, it definitely uh, brings back some memories before every swim, which were a couple nautical miles, and they were always done at night, always done between, you know, 11 p.m. and 3, 4 a.m. in the morning. They would get us in this room, show us a few, a series of shark attack videos, run us through what was expected of us on the swim, and then we would line up in our wetsuits before we entered the water, and the instructor cadre would go through and they would chum our wetsuits they would have a bucket, like a cauldron that you cook in, and they would have fish guts and fish blood, and they would make you open your wetsuit, and they would pour fish guts and fish chum into your wetsuit before you got in the water. I don't think there's gonna be any sharks here, and I hope to God they don't uh, chum our wetsuits before we get in the water. But I know some of the guys I'm with are a little nervous, but I think once we get our first run through, everybody's gonna be really excited, and we're gonna be begging for more. So wait, <laughs> let's be clear. You guys told me that we were like swimming in life rafts which is why I agree. We'll do that too. <laughs> we'll do that too. The only way we could get you here. Now, some of the runs are going to involve you having to move inside of here while it is fully submerged and it may possibly be upside down. Are you gonna smell something that's gonna help you get out? No. Are you gonna hear something that's gonna help you get out? I hope you know what we're narrowing down to. You're not gonna taste something that's gonna lead you to get out of that aircraft. You're down to what you can see and what you can feel. And this will all be explained in the classroom. We'll see some videos. You'll know exactly what you need to do. Anytime you get to get back in the water and train, it's a good thing. And so I think I'm gonna learn some things that I you know, haven't been taught before. I haven't gone through a simulation like this, so I'm really Looking forward to picking some new things up. We didn't sign any waivers when we flew helicopters. We signed sure. a lot of waivers today. Um, I did pretty well flying. I don't think I would fly with Kyle. Um, I don't know if you'd fly with me either because I'd probably try and make him cry as well. So, I think Kyle mentioned that this pays just a little more than minimum wage. So, but I wasn't <laughs> I expecting this. Somehow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this for an interview, but so. I'm, I'm excited about what's going to come later today. Uh, you know what, I uh, haven't been in a pool in a long time. Uh, was a swimmer as a kid, swam uh, into high school, but that's, that's about it. Haven't been in the pool since then. <laughs> and what, what have you learned that you thought was interesting so far? I, I've learned that people should never do that. <laughs> you put mine on? Are those assless chaps? <laughs> you ruined my experience. <laughs> and obviously the staff here is experienced. They do this every day. Um, I'm very comfortable that, that if anything goes wrong, they're here to take care of it and to handle it. Gentlemen, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start with the classroom presentation. We're gonna watch an incident video that's really going to hopefully put into our minds, perspective-wise, what we are exactly preparing for. You know, coming into it, didn't really know a ton about it. Uh, having the class with Dan, our instructor, 
Um, amazing instruction. I mean, talks step by step everything through there. So uh, I'm excited just to see how systematic and how professional everything is. Um, it should be a great experience. Hopefully we can learn a couple things. Maybe make you a little bit more confident if something does happen down the road that you know, you're not really looking forward to, but you have some hopefully practice. Upstairs and jump into the water. All right, yeah, let's go. So when I was growing up, I was the fat kid because, you know, I really enjoy eating macaroni and cheese with hot dogs cut up on it. That was the best. And so my parents would take us for swim lessons, and they bring us down to the local lake. While the swim instructors there, the way that I remember it is that they weren't your typical like professionals like these guys were. You know, the girls were great; they were very nice. But the boys, their way of teaching you would be to make you jump off the dock over in the, the deep water, and not teach you how to properly dive, and then the water would go up your nose and you would start coughing and sputtering and unable to breathe, and they would teach you that it was an important lesson to learn how to be able to deal with that, so they would then take said fat kid and hold him underwater. So, uh, not the most enjoyable of experiences, and ever since then, I've just not been a big fan of water. Mike and Sal can have this underwater stuff all day long, I'm good with sitting here having cocktails while they do it, but apparently I'm going in the deep end now. So let's do this. Basically, just keep your eyes looking straight out. Do not pick a point and let your eyes go upwards and don't look down. So again, body follows your head, so you'll have enough height to get horizontal, whether it's belly flop or a back flop, there's enough height to do it here. did pretty well. So they maintain their position, no injuries on the entry, that's what we're looking for, proper deployment of their flotation devices, and as we can see, they're on the surface and, and keeping that airway nice and managed on the surface, being able to breathe effectively. They actually did pretty good, even Kyle did pretty good, so don't let him hear that though. All right, so you guys ready for a little group swim? Let's do it. Let's do it. Pretty tiring, isn't it? Yeah. And now, if we formed it up again, had you do another lap, yeah, we'll do a little bit better. Um, you're basically trying to keep together, trying to swim as a group, but in the end, we're taking the slowest, the fastest, the healthiest, the injured, people with life jackets, you know, maybe some people that don't, and making sure everyone's going from point A to point B, and we're not leaving any of them. on the assumption that we made it out alive. How do we get to that point? Well, good thing you asked, that's what we're doing next.
So as we all clear out our sinuses, I want to give a special shout out to the crew out here at Survival Systems USA in Groton, Connecticut. These guys are the best of the best. I want to thank Sal from Battlegrounds Coffee and Bob for showing up. I think you did a great job with your interview today. Thanks, Mike. We'll see how it goes with Kyle when we talk on the way home to see if you're yeah. actually going to get hired. We'll, we'll see if he's willing to accept that below minimum wage position. Forgot to tell you about that. But it was cool, man. This wasn't just the kind of place that you go to for training in the military. This is the kind of place you bring the boys to. You go to for a bachelor party. You go to for team training and, and leadership building. So, guys, thank you all so much. How we do? Excellent. Excellent job, sir. Excellent. Welcome back here anytime. And they kept us Thanks, alive. Guys. Nobody's so, dead. Appreciate that. There were no tears underwater. So, uh, I'd say that's a big win. So, guys, thank you all so much for taking the two seconds it's going to take you to hit that share button. Thank you all for watching. And God bless America. Thanks to the fans.